hi viewers I am on the same page in previous video we worked uh, on the update card and continue shopping button in this video we will be working on this quanti uh, quantity uh, so if someone adds some quantity over here so this uh, you know the price can be updated and we also can update uh, I mean the the card table inside we have in the database so now if we simply uh, remove them I mean if we update this card so we can remove all of the I mean the products from here and uh, if we add more products for example I added one product and I will go to cart you can see this is the product and it has its price is nine hundred dollars so I go there refresh my uh, you know this uh, card table so you can observe over here the product ID is 5 IP address is 1 and quantity is 0 at the moment initially obviously the quantity will be 0 so if someone say quantity will be 3 uh, <gasps> or 2 or 4 or whatsoever so we need to update the card accordingly and can multiply this price over there at that moment so we need to work inside the source code uh, this is the same page the card.php so basically we have uh, the quantity input tag over here just after the quantity I mean after the input tag up uh, for quantity we after that can insert a PHP block and we will work something out there first of all we'll <laughs> say if a set using if a set command statement we can say that the post is the method and update card is clicked which we can target over here as well same like we targeted it in while removing the products we will say update card then what should we do so first of all we will create a local variable with the name QTY I mean quantity and we will get the value that a person if a person has entered a value so we will get that from the quantity uh, I mean from this quantity field input field input uh, input take which has a name quantity which we have given here and we have got that for using the post method and have saved that inside the local variable so now in the next part we will simply uh, run a query update underscore qty is equal to inside the two uh, double quotes we will write a query update update card table I mean the uh, table card we want to update that now we will simply say uh, set qty field is equal to this one I mean the coming value which is coming inside this we said update card set quantity field to this one I mean change the value inside that to the coming value we are saying simply like we are saying this is the quantity field inside this table we said update this this is having zero value which is a default value so we will change that someone will enter two or three or five or whatsoever that will go inside the this field and this will be updated so very simply uh, we need to run the query now simply say we will create a new variable update uh, run qty is equal to mysql underscore query mysql i underscore query connection and then as a reference this variable update underscore qty so that's it no now here if we want to show if if we want to hold or keep that uh, value which uh, is entered by a user or customer if you want to keep it here in the in this box then we need to use sessions for that so we must use sessions if you want to keep them if you want to uh, if you do not want to keep the value is in inside the text field then we don't need to use session but we will keep that there therefore we will use session uh, dollar underscore session is a default array like uh, 
dollar underscore post and dollar underscore get and dollar underscore files and dollar underscore request and things like that this is also super global array predefined in, um, in PHP library so we can use this and we will simply target the QTY variable the QTY field inside the table and we will make it will equal it to this quantity variable so whatever is coming that will we will keep that inside that this text field so in order to save sessions you must start the session in the starting of the document so we'll scroll up and here we will start session first session underscore start session underscore start is a command in PHP which you must start in the starting of the page if you want to use sessions in the in the page where is okay so we started the session above the in, uh, in the page in the starting of the page and after that we said the QTY field inside the table will be saved in a session and it will be equal to this variable which is bringing a value so now that value we can display inside the box I mean here in the input take using the value attribute simply in a PHP starting and ending take inside this PHP block we can echo dollar underscore session and session will be actually QTY so basically the se session is already stored so when the person will enter the value that will be uh, there until they click anything else or order or something like that anyways we have echoed that there and uh, the table has also been updated now at this point we can uh, change the variable I mean the total variable that we have sorry not the total variable what we have over here yes this is total basically the subtotal is showing over here we'll simply change this variable in PHP we can change local variables at any uh, time or at any point so here we will change this variable total variable will be equal to total multiply by QTY very simple so this Q, uh, QTY has some quantity I mean some values so we will simply create a new total variable the, with the same name that doesn't matter and we will say total multiply with this quantity will become total variable now so we have already echoed that total variable or here in subtotal so it will also be updated with the new variable that we have created or here very simply uh, I have saved all now come here refresh the page and uh, you know automatically uh, if I write I mean for example I write five four and if I update the card you can see the product is one and the price is 900 so it should be something like 3600 so I will update the card we'll click the update the card you can see 3600 is the value and if we just uh, browse or check this table you can see the quantity is 4 and the price is also multiplied to this uh, but there is an error as well which is uh, for the another for each I mean for each loop we used last time uh, here I mean this one so this whole thing we can simply uh, save inside a function because when this is not active it generates an error so for that thing we simply can say a function and we will name it update card this is a function and inside that we we will insert a curly bracket and we'll just close it here and we'll also make a global connection so we can use inside this function we'll make it function because uh, when this is not active I mean this whole uh, if a set is not active so it generates an error and for removing that error for avoiding that error we'll make it a function and at the last or here 
before the closing uh, I mean before this scurly bracket of the function we will echo it but we will create a local variable uh, up underscore cart which will be equal to update cart function that we have above and we have echo it but we will just add an at sign which you can add by pressing shift in A from your keyboard so this means this simply means if this if this whole function is not active or is not working so it will not generate an error because we are doing two tasks at one time I mean we have uh, we have said here for this this quantity field we have said if a set update card so we are updating quantity and at the same time we are also using it here update underscore card so if when update is clicked so this if a set is also getting it uh, and generating an error that you have said update card but there is no value so what should I do so therefore we said okay we have uh, we have made it a function and after that we have just saved that function into a local variable and added we added a uh, an, uh, an at sign so when this is not active so it will not generate an error that's it now simply refresh this uh, and the error has also gone and you can see the quantity is now 4 and the quantity is 4 here as well now if we add 6 quantity for example 6 update the cart you will see five thousand four hundred dollars is the total price and here you can also find this quantity so basically uh, this is done now in the next video we will be working on this checkout if someone goes to checkout page so what sh uh, you know if someone wants to check out this uh, uh, amount or wants to order this product then he she must be either logged in to the our website or they can create a new account so without login or without their information we cannot receive the order because we have to save their information their order transaction ID and things like that and also we can uh, give them options to use PayPal for uh, online transaction oh, stay tuned